Hey friends, it's Jessie and welcome back to the channel. Today I have a slightly laid back video. I feel like a lot of my videos lately have just been like, have just been chilling. By the time you're seeing this, I will already be in California or possibly on my way home, but I wanted to film my what's in my travel makeup bag. I always find it interesting to see what other people take when they go places and I also challenge myself to not bring my whole makeup collection because I feel like I normally do that. So I just wanted to sit down, have a chit chatty video, talk about the makeup I am bringing and just kind of let you know the vibe. Before we jump into it, if you are a lover of all things makeup, eyeshadow, colors, anything like that, I highly suggest you hit the subscribe button because I myself am a huge makeup lover, especially eyeshadow, so I think we would get along just swimmingly. So make sure you're subscribed before you leave, and with that, let's go ahead and jump into the video. I have this really janky uh, makeup case that I got literally five years ago from Walmart, I think. It's just this like clear vinyl, it's easy to clean, and then it has these two flower pockets in there as well. So let's go ahead and start. I organize it, uh, these two hold my cream products, and then I have my miscellaneous things tucked in the bottom. So in this first little compartment, this is where I'm having like my complexion products, anything like face cream wise. The first thing I have in here is the Marc Jacobs Perfect Intense. This is just a cute little travel perfume. I didn't want to risk breaking one of my huge perfume bottles, so I did pick this up. I haven't tried this one uh, aside from the couple days that I've been kind of playing around with it, but I do like the Daisy Love and I think it's the Daisy Dream, the purple bottle from Marc Jacobs. Uh, I love the Marc Jacobs perfume, so I figured that would be a good go-to. You can't go wrong with a good Marc Jacobs. I am, of course, not going anywhere without my Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. This is SPF 40, and I've actually been using this as a primer lately. It's kind of that um, like silicone-y texture. Think like Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. It's very good. It makes my skin feel so healthy. So of course I'm taking that. I have two foundation choices. The first is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Hydromaniac. Mine is in the shade 20 Fair. This is like a tinted moisturizer, tinted glow hydrator. I figured this would be good for just a nice glowy uh, situation. And then I am of course bringing my Dior Backstage Foundation in shade 0N just for everyday wear. I don't know the vibe, it's gonna be pretty hot. So I don't know if I'm gonna want like a full coverage situation. Uh, so two choices were great. I also just picked up the Urban Decay All Nighter in a travel size. This is, um, how many ounces? One ounce. And I figured this would be perfect. I love the Urban Decay All Nighter and this will be great in case we're out and about for whatever reason um, that keeps your makeup glued to your face. Concealer wise, I'm only bringing one concealer and that is my MAC Studio Fix uh, concealer in the shade NW20. It's always a good go-to and I love this one. It matches all my foundations perfectly. And then I have two face products. The first is my bronzer stick from Rare Beauty. This is in the shade uh, Happy Soul. I'm actually wearing this bronzer today and I really like it. I feel like it blends super easily into foundation. I'm trying to be as minimal as possible and I like the glowy it gives. The only highlighter I'm bringing is Flexitarian by ColourPop. This is a super shock highlighter. Honestly, I feel like I'm not in a highlighter phase right now. I feel like I'm more for like the natural dewy. I have a touch, a touch of Flexitarian on my cheeks today, but other than that, it is just all of the dewy products I've been using, so I don't feel the need to bring a crazy blinding highlight, especially if I'm gonna mostly just be doing very natural, quick and easy makeup looks. Moving on to the second compartment. This is more of like eye products and smaller cream products, things that I don't wanna get lost. So just jumping right in, I have two quick little tools. I have my Sephora lash applicator. Um, this is just the Sephora brand. I really like this. Uh, and then my Urban Decay Grind House pencil sharpener for all of my eyeliner lip liners. I have my Duo Vitamin C lash glue. I'm only bringing two pairs of lashes and I can't even guarantee I'll end up wearing them. I just don't feel like it's necessary to wear lashes to like the beach or, you know, just outdoorsy things. So I did bring it just in case, in case I decide to do lashes. Um, I'm also bringing my Rem Beauty mascara. This is the lengthening mascara. Last week I actually 
actually uploaded my video where I tried a ton of REM products. I did basically a full face of REM makeup. I will link that in the cards and the description if you're interested, but I've actually really been liking this one. I really liked it for my first impression in that video, but I've also been reaching for it a lot and have also been wearing that today. Of course, is it a trip without my Fenty Beauty eye primer? I think not. So this guy is of course coming. For brows, I'm bringing my current brow duo. This is the Precisely My Brow from Benefit in shade 3.5 and then my MAC Shape and Tint brow pen in Spiked. I like to fill in my brows a little bit with the pencil and then go in and draw the individual hairs with the pen. I find it makes a very natural look. Today I just used the pencil, but I do normally like to do a combo, so I decided to bring both of those. For eyeliners, I pretty much packed just neutral everyday looks, so I really only have like those berry eyeliners and some natural ones. So I do have two of the products from Rem Beauty, again, that I tried. The first one is the White Coal Liner. This is in the shade So Mod. I've been trying it out. I didn't really like it the first time I used it, but now that I've been using it a couple times, um, I find that the tip of the pencil isn't very hard anymore. It's more creamy. So I think I just had to get through that initial first bit. And then I also packed the Rem Beauty uh, eyeliner marker. This is just a black felt tip liner. I love to do wings. Wings are pretty much a staple in my makeup routine because I have no natural lashes and like any little bit I can get. I also have two pencil liners from ColourPop. This first one is Fiery Fierce from the Avatar collection and the second one is Trick or Treat from the Hocus Pocus collection. Fiery Fierce is more of like a berry red and Trick or Treat is a plum. Uh, you will see why I chose these two colors in just a second. Last but not least, we have lip products. I'm only taking three lipsticks with me, which I feel like might be a lot, but we are going to be gone for two weeks. So the first set I'm bringing is Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk. I have the lipstick in Pillow Talk and the matching liner. This has been a go-to staple this past spring. I have a, another duo. This is the Charlotte Tilbury liner in Iconic Nude and the Dose of Colors liquid lipstick in Truffle. This is a little bit older in my collection and I just like rediscovered it within the past week and I actually really like it. So I wanted to take this and then just in case I want something a little bit dark and vampy, I'm bringing Jeffree Star of Allure Liquid Lipstick in Plastic Surgery. This is just a nice like brown darkish color. So I feel like that would be a good combo to have as well. The two pairs of lashes I decided to take are the ones I tried from my Rem Beauty video. This is the uh, Style Provocateur. And then I also have my Kiss Lashes in Teddy. These are my favorite super voluminous lashes. So this is in case I have a night out and just want something a little bit dramatic. I am bringing my Soap and Glory one heck of a blot powder. I am very close to hitting pan on this actually. And uh, I pretty much only use this on my under eyes or to blot throughout the day. I figured it's easier to have one powder instead of taking a million different things, loose powders, all that. For blush, the only blush I'm taking is the Pat McGrath Labs. This is in Flirtation. My favorite go-to blush shade. These are a little bit pricier. I want to say they're like $38 possibly, question mark, but they are amazing. This just looks so natural on the skin. It blends so nicely. Even if I'm doing a full face of cream products and just decide to tap this on top, it looks so good. So I did want to take this one because I know I won't go wrong with it. I am also bringing my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer in case my uh, Rare Beauty bronzer is a bit much. This is my all-time favorite bronzer. It's so loved. I love this bronzer with a burning fiery passion. And last but not least, the two eyeshadow palettes I have decided to take with me. I have this one from Rem. This is the baby doll palette. This is my neutral palette. I really enjoyed this when I tried it out in my testing Rem Beauty products video. And I'd love to get to like use it a little bit more. I feel like it'd be a lot of fun. And what better way to test it out than just a whole trip full of everyday makeup. And of course, last but not least, Miss Natasha Denona Love Palette. I am obsessed with this palette. Berry tones are right up my alley. As you can see, I'm actually wearing this palette today. I feel like pink tones just go really well with my hair and with my face color and all that. Uh, I am working on the shade Giving in my Pan Those Eyeshadows project. Um, so I wanted to take at least one of those shadows to work on it while I'm there. And also I just love how easy this is to create looks with. I feel like it's so fun. We're possibly doing Disneyland, so I'd love to use some of these duo chromey shades uh, at Disney. But other than that, that is all I have. Thank you so much for joining me for this quick and chatty video. Let me know what your go-to staples are for traveling makeup, and I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye, friends.